Whenever games include cheat codes, their primary purpose is to make the game easier for you. They're meant to make you feel overpowered and give you an experience quite unlike the regular game. That said, sometimes developers like to lay traps for the cheating part of their player base. You might have been expecting infinite lives, but instead you've come away with a spanked bottom because I'm Sai for WhatCulture.com and here are 10 video game cheat codes designed to punish you. Number 10. Risky Money, SimCity 4 Even to this day, SimCity 4 is considered one of the greatest city builders of all time. This isn't just because of the game's fantastic city creation tools, but also because the bizarre world was really endearing and captivating. Your city could be attacked by a giant robot or visited by aliens and your sims would tell you the most outrageous things. The weirdness of the game also extended to its cheat codes, with risky money being the best example of this. Remember how in The Sims typing motherload would instantly grant you a huge load of cash? Well, risky money does a similar thing, except every time you use it there's a slight chance a massive earthquake will destroy your city. Every time you want to get some easy and fast money through cheating, the game plays a little gamble with you. You might get a few extra grand in your treasury, but it might also cost you millions of simoleons in damages. The exact chance of the cheat causing an earthquake is 25%, and if these odds sound good to you, you might have what it takes to make it as a crooked politician. Number 9, I'm drunk as a skunk and twice as smelly, Red Dead Redemption. Getting drunk in video games is like getting drunk in real life, but without the painful experience of a hangover the very next day. There can be something inherently funny about your character to struggling to perform even the simplest of tasks, although at the same time you can probably tell how annoying it would be if the effect didn't go away after a while. This is exactly what the cheat code I'm drunk as a skunk and twice as smelly from the original Red Dead Redemption does. After you input this long and convoluted phrase, which if you've ever used the PlayStation text input you know just how painful that is, the game will give your character a permanent buzz. Now instead of just drunkenly waddling in front of the saloon, you can ride across the entire map and get into shootouts with people while seeing double and being unable to maintain basic hand-eye coordination. The cheat was obviously made as a joke, but to be honest, it's also a great handicap for those who feel like Red Dead Redemption is just too easy. Ah, uh, well, you might have beaten Red Dead Redemption, but did you beat it as the cowboy equivalent of Jackie Chan's drunken master? Number 8, Skyfall, Grand Theft Auto 5. Taking flights in Grand Theft Auto 5 can be a pretty tricky endeavour unless you have access to Trevor's airstrip. Your only chance of flying high is to break into the highly secure airport or the highly secure military base. But what if there was an easier way to reach the skies in a matter of seconds? Perhaps with a simple cheat code that you can input at any time. Well then, the cheat Skyfall is exactly what you're looking for. Activating it instantly teleports your character into the stratosphere, letting you freefall and fly around carelessly until you finally drop to the ground and die an absolutely gruesome and painful death. Although the code has some fun applications, it's mostly just a trap laid down for those who mess around with cheats with no clue what they're doing. If you didn't invest in a parachute prior to inputting these random codes, activating Skyfall will be a guaranteed death sentence. There is technically a way to survive the fall by head diving at the last second, but again, an oblivious cheater who uses the code for the first time will be too dumbfounded about being launched thousands of kilometres into the air to think of viable survival strategies. Number 7, The Serious Room, The Stanley Parable. Seeing as The Stanley Parable started off as a mod for Half-Life 2, it's obviously built on the Source engine and has access to all of the cheat commands that come with it. Except that's not entirely true, although you can activate the Source engine console in The Stanley Parable and even type some commands into it, typing SV cheats one does not activate any cheats. Instead, it teleports you inside the infamous Serious Room. What is the Serious Room? Well, no need to ask, the game's narrator will tell you all about it as soon as you're transported inside, because this bleak, empty, and poorly lit room is supposed to be your punishment for cheating. As you're stuck inside the Serious Room, the narrator will keep describing the seriousness of its interior to you while simultaneously chastising you for your poor ethics. You can't really do anything but listen to his unnecessary elaborate monologue, and if you try to enable cheats again, you only risk distracting your captor and making his rant even more unhinged. But let's be honest, this is really only a punishment through the eyes of the narrator, because if you're playing the Stanley Parable, this is the kind of nonsense you signed up for. Number 6, Super Sabers Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. The Star Wars Episode 3 video game features a great deal of lightsaber fighting with Jedi and Sith alike. The duels can be fairly challenging at times, and so you might feel like giving yourself a slight advantage by using a cheat code or Two. That's when you come across a code called Super Sabers. It sounds like just the thing you were looking for, right? A Super Saber will surely obliterate anyone who crosses your path. But when you activate the cheat, nothing seems to change about your character or their lightsaber. Well, why? Because the code doesn't give you a Super Saber, it gives them to all of your enemies. Ridiculously long and wide lightsabers that take up half the screen and can snipe your character from across the room, all the while you're still your normal defenseless self. This is honestly such a huge betrayal of the player's trust that it makes Anakin's defection to the
the Dark Side looked like complete amateur hour. Number 5. State of Emergency Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Aside from your standard cheat codes for immortality and infinite ammunition, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas features a variety of nonsensical and downright masochistic commands. For example, there are some that make all pedestrians attack you on sight, and there are some that just kill your character instantly. However, for a truly harrowing and punishing experience, you want to use the code STATE OF EMERGENCY. This activates riot mode, turning the entire Los Santos area into a chaotic and utterly violent epicenter of civil unrest. Now, not only will pedestrians attack you on the spot, they'll also start gunfights, blow up cars, and commit all sorts of crimes that make it virtually impossible to walk down the street without something or someone being a danger to your health. It's basically like GTA Online, except without other players. The best part is that the riot mode applies to story missions as well, so if you thought following the train with Big Smoke was bad, try doing it while there's a slight possibility your bike might randomly explode or your chase will be interrupted by a civilian ramming their car into you and your friend. Just another typical day in Grand Theft Auto. Number 4. Evil Cars Saints Row 2 The cars in Saints Row 2 don't enjoy an easy life. If they're not getting stolen or beaten with a baseball bat, some crazy gangster, that is you, is probably driving them into a wall or straight towards the Stillwater River. Thankfully the cars don't have to endure their abuse in silence. All it takes is one simple cheat code and a player dumb enough to use it and the motorised day of reckoning can finally take place. The cheat code Evil Cars in Saints Row 2 turns every car and driver into a murderous homing missile. As soon as you enter it, your character will become a car magnet and the game will change from a tale of a rowdy gang of saints into a survival horror where ravenous automobiles have overtaken the planet and are hunting down the last remaining human. The cars are truly relentless with the cheat code on and they can jump at you out of nowhere and reach you in the least likely of places. It actually makes for an interesting challenge, but it should go without saying that attempting a normal playthrough of Saints Row 2 with this cheat code on is near impossible. Number 3. Grunty's Code Vengeance Banjo-Kazooie Losing your save files is never a fun experience. This said, losing your data due to a glitch or corruption doesn't leave you nearly as betrayed as the game deliberately erasing it in order to punish you. For this reason, you might want to steer clear of Banjo-Kazooie's cheat codes. The Xbox version of the game doesn't take kindly to using them, and if you refuse to heed its warning, it won't hesitate to take your save file away from you. That's right, inputting more than two cheat codes in the secret code room in Treasure Trove Cove will result in Gruntilda the Witch cursing your game with a little save erase Your game data will be gone, and because the first cheat you input disables saving, you'll be forced to start your adventure all over again. To be fair, you do get a warning that the third cheat you use will take away your save, but it's still a pretty harsh punishment for someone just wanting to have a little bit of fun. Well, that's what happens when you mess with a grumpy witch. Number 2. Doom Cheat Codes Heretic The easiest way to describe Heretic is to call it a medieval version of Doom. The game shares a lot of similarities with the father of first-person shooters, including its HUD layout, gory graphics, and even its cheat codes. The famous id DQD and id KFA cheats from Doom that activate God Mode and unlock all of the weapons in the game, respectively, are present in Heretic as well. The only difference is that in Heretic, these cheats don't make you an immortal one-man army. Instead, they make a pretty nasty joke at your expense. Using the God Mode cheat will cause your character to explode into bloody little pieces, and the Weapons cheat will rob you of all of your items as opposed to giving you new ones. Their opposite effect is clearly a reference to Doom, which makes sense considering some of the developers from id Software helped create Heretic. Still, it is pretty brutal to do something like this without any warning. Imagine the sheer humiliation of someone who tried to show off their cool immortality cheat to their friends and then got instantly turned into a pile of bloody goo. I guess that's karma for you. And number one, the Konami Code, Gradius 3. The Konami Code is one of the most famous cheat codes in video game history. Ever since its introduction in Gradius, this specific sequence of commands, known as the Konami Code, has been a staple of most of Konami's titles, providing players with bonuses and secret features as long as they know how to enter it. Seeing as Gradius is what started it all, you'd think that each game in the series would make the rewards you get for entering the code especially amazing. Unfortunately, the prodigal son known as Gradius 3 would beg to differ. In the first Gradius, the code grants you an extra 30 lives. In the second Gradius, it gives you extra lives and every power-up if you activate it mid-game. And in Gradius 3, it 
makes your ship explode. Oh, you thought you were being smart by entering a universal code with a long tradition of helping people in this particular franchise? Well, Gradius 3 is just too cool for that kind of silly, childish hand-holding. Gradius 3 is the family's annoying, edgy kid brother who has to remind everyone that it has high enough difficulty level to sit at the grown-ups table. Whilst these video games punish you for cheating, there are some that want you to cheat. Check out that video which is on screen now to stay here with us at What Culture Gaming. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on other examples of video games that punish you for putting a cheat code in. You can head over to whatculture.com for more content every day. I've been Cy for What Culture, and have a good week.